Hey, it's John with Agile Off-Road. We're gonna do a comparison of the big brake kit by Alcon and Agile compared to your factory brakes. So let's just take a look at this right now. The big benefits of it are a bigger diameter rotor. That's gonna be your most significant improvement. The factory rotor that we've got here, it's about 12 and a quarter, where the aftermarket one is 13 and a half. So what that does is that puts the pad further out and gives us more braking. As well, we're changing the whole complete design of the caliper. This one's a slide pin caliper and it's bolted on through the side here. So basically you got two bolts on here and then this is sliding. You will have an, another pad in here. That pad's gonna sit down in there. And basically that allows it to slide, but it also allows it to flex. We've also only got two pistons on one side. So that pulls in and clamps it. If you've driven the Ineos Grenadier, it's 6,000 pounds when you pick it up. The brakes are a, a little bit to be desired. For sure, in my opinion, one of my bigger complaints when I ran the Nora 1000 were the factory brakes. We did run these in the Nora 1000, so they did work well, but I did feel like there was there could have been better solutions for it. As well as if you're towing, things like that, you might not get the braking force you're gonna need. Folks have done independent reviews on this, and one of their complaints has been the brakes. So let's take a look at this other caliper. So this is the factory caliper. This is, the Alcon and Agile caliper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, instead of it being bolted into the side, we're actually gonna radial mount it. So we're gonna put in this bracket that bolts to the side of the spindle, and this allows us to now radial mount it. So now the force of trying to peel this rotor off is now doing it this way. As well, we've got this as a, a ductile iron caliper. This does not flex. These were primarily what Alcon uses for our heavy vehicles. So typically, looking at a vehicle like the Grenadier, they're gonna run a ductile iron caliper. Really well known, we run them on all the Sprinters. Our Sprinters are over 10,000 pounds, but they also do these in all their armored vehicles. As well, you're gonna get a better pad content and a little bit larger pad. There's not a significant increase in the pad design or a pad surface area. You can see here, here's a factory pad from any. So you can see it's a little bit narrower, not only narrower this way, but also narrow that direction, not as wide. Um, so there is, this one definitely has more, but the material on this is gonna give you a much, much higher clamping force. With this, with that ductile iron caliper, you're gonna get a superior clamping force on there. Where I really notice the improvement is when I'm driving slow. Like when you're dropping in something really steep, you're just crawling the vehicle, you can really modulate that speed as well high speed stopping. So the high speed stopping, I feel like the Grenadier has much more braking force for me. I feel a lot more confident driving this. And then you can see here the rotor and how much bigger this rotor is. We've also got a little bit more width on this rotor as well. So this rotor, inch and a quarter, the factory rotor is just about an inch and an eighth, inch and a sixteenth, a little bit shy of inch and an eighth. You can see that bigger diameter. And as we know, leverage is gonna be key to everything. So as we get that clamping force further out on the wheel, we're gonna get a much, much higher braking force. So let's take a look at the other parts that we're adding on here. There's gonna be some bolts. The brake lines will need to be adapted to this banjo fitting. We'll show you some pictures of that, but as you go in through the side of it, there's gonna be a banjo fitting, a couple of washers. You're gonna see too, Alcons always use Goodridge for their brake lines. That's the same brake lines that are being used on the Grenadier. And we're only having to replace this small section right here. So it's a really, really clean setup. So as you can see, you're getting a lot larger design parts, but as well, you're getting better design parts. So we're gonna increase that clamping force on the front rotors. We're getting good material. So we shouldn't see deflection from say like an aluminum caliper. You're gonna run it a lot more deflection in aluminum parts, especially when they're bolted together and a far superior pad. So all these parts, we do have them available. We also are covering all of the replacement parts, all the way down to brake hoses, banjo fittings and all that. So those can either be purchased here at Agile Off-Road or even through Alcon's headquarters here in uh, North Carolina. If you're interested in these big brakes, you want to upgrade your Ineos Grenadier, hit up our website. We have dealers all over the nation that are installing these. You can also do the installation yourself. We should have a link to a video there. And we have a good set of instructions on there with all the torque specs, all the tools you need. So happy trails, everybody. Thanks.